ground is blessed. My ground is blessed. One more time, let go say my ground is blessed. My ground is blessed. By now, I believe most of you know a lot of things about the ground, right? Yes. Now you know that the ground has mouth. It can talk, it can speak. So when you see that old man trying to take snap and pour it on the ground and say, he's not fooling. He knows something that you don't know. But you and I, we don't have snap to pour over there. If you want the ground to speak for us, you use the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Pour it on the ground for the ground to speak on our behalf yes, in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12, verse number 16. Revelation chapter 12, verse number 16. We're reading two scriptures, then we'll sit down and go through our test in Jesus' name. It says, but the, let's all read together. Let's go. But the earth held the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon has swept out of the One more time, let's go. But the earth held the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon has spewed out of his mouth. Okay. So the earth has a mouth. mouth. Okay, let's see the ears. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2. One, two, three. Let's go. Hear, O heavens. Listen, O earth. So let's let's only read the sentence. Says, listen, O earth. Let's oh, let's go. Listen, O earth. Again. Listen, O earth. For the last time. Listen, O earth. Help me to give the title of my sermon in the next fifteen minutes, using as a subject. Turn to the person on your left and right and say, "My neighbor." My neighbor. What have you been telling? What have you been telling? Your ground. Your ground. You may be seated. Life is controlled by principles. When the principle works for you, it doesn't matter your color. When a black person puts corn on the ground, it's well. Germinate. When an Indian puts a corn on the ground, it's well. Germinate. When a black person sleeps with a woman, doing ovulation, the woman well conceived. When an Indian does it, conceived. a Chinese pregnant. There are some principles that are universal principles. And that one, it doesn't matter who you are, it works for you or against you. And most of these principles, they are hidden in mysteries that people don't know. God actually made everything in the universe just for the benefits of mankind. God didn't want you to ever come to heaven. God never. God, it was never his plan. Because when he made you, he kept you in the garden. And all the time, if he want to speak to you and have fellowship with you, God could have just come to the garden and pick Adam. And say, Adam, let's go and have some fun up there. Then you move Adam over there. But did God do that? No. But God will always come. Oh, 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 Sunday school 101. God will always come. Down. And talk with man and have fellowship. So everything God made was to your advantage. God made the element, the moon, the stars, the sun. God made the earth. He made the wind. He made the water. He made the fire. He made the trees. And after making the trees, he also made the mountains. And all these things that God made was to your advantage. To work on your behalf. But unfortunately, if you don't know the benefit of something, it can work against you. When there's a silly fun in your house and you don't know how it works and you just go through, you press it on and it's going on. You don't know that it's for your air. That you use your hand to say, I want to play with the ceiling fan. After one, one minute, you find yourself at the University of Ghana Medical Center. I might say the truth. With more blood all, all around you. Although the ceiling fan is there, but you don't know the benefit of it. So the ground that any individual enters, the ground has a mouth. And the mouth that it has is always speaking. And whatever that is being spoken is not spoken in only a good way. It's speaking in a good way or a bad way. Based on who has triggered it. It can just not talk. It's supposed to talk based on an activation. You have a SIM card. But the SIM card can never work. Not until you activate your SIM card. So as a child of God, let's go to Psalm 115 verse number 16. Whether God made everything just to our advantage. Psalm 115 verse number 16. Look at it now. It says, the highest heavens belong to the Lord. But the earth he has given to who? Man. Okay, did he give it to Jesus? No. He has given it to who? Man. Who is the man? 
So if he has given everything on the earth to me, I can use it to my advantage. So right now the earth, number one, has mouth. It can speak. It can talk. It can speak to testify against you or testify in your favor. Where you stay, where you live. The last time you went there, the first time you went there, did you speak on the ground? What did you tell the ground to do on your behalf? Where your workplace is? Is the place working for you or working against you? You have the ability to control whatever that happens from the universe. And the, the moment you say it, it will happen to you. Number two, the universe, the earth, the ground, the ground, the ground. The ground has different gifts. And we have some good gifts. And we also have some bad gifts. But which of the gifts are you receiving? Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse number 16. Let's go. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse number 16. I just want to lay a foundation for you to know where they are going. It says, with the best gifts of the earth. Which, which type of gifts? Best. Which type of gifts? Best. Which type of gifts? Best. So, the ground you walk on has some best gifts. And are those best gifts, are they working for you or they are working against you? And today I came to stand from this altar. Jesus. Every ground you stand on, may the best gift of the ground speak on your behalf. Amen. By the message of the living God in the name of Jesus. Amen. A farmer went out to sow. And when the farmer went out to sow, it was the same ground. But different, 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 different types of ground. The Bible says, let's say the man bought the seeds from just one, one shop. The same seeds, but the, the same ground, but different, 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 different categories. One of them fell into a good ground. The other one fell into a rocky ground. The other one fell a, a, along the path. The Bible says, all of them started growing. That's how life is. Everybody will begin life very well, but their destination is totally different. And the question is, what happened to your crown? Jesus. We saw so many people that started school very well, doing so well. But the issue is, what happened to their ground? If your ground is a sandy soil, you can buy every corn and put it there. It will only grow small. And the sad thing about this kind of corn growing is that it can grow for the corn to even come. But it will be small corns. But the one who put it in the loamy soil, it becomes very great. Today, it's your soil, your ground. A sandy soil or a loamy soil if your sand if your gravel here today your ground is a sandy soil i came to release a loamy soil over your ground Amen. i said i came to release a loamy soil over your ground Amen. your seed will germinate on every side by Jesus the message of god name. say my seed will germinate my seed will germinate say for the second time my seed will germinate for the last time my seed will germinate so not only will the earth speak it can also hear and because you're a child of God, when you speak, he's supposed to listen to you. Because the voice you carry is the voice of God. Jesus. So right now, you're about to make a prophetic action right now. Point your hand to the ground now and say, my ground. My ground. You will accept me. You will accept me. Anywhere I enter. Anywhere I enter. Any ground I go. Any ground I go. I will be accepted. I will be accepted. I will be favorable. I will be favorable. My destiny. My destiny. Will be favored. Will be favored. Put it down. Now, now, if you know how to control your ground, it doesn't matter where they keep you. Look at Joseph. Father gives him a cloth of many colors. Brothers are angry. The Bible says when he was coming from afar, they said, look at him. Here comes the dreamer. Let's kill him and see what will come out of his dream. Sometimes people want to kill you not because of today, but because of where you are going tomorrow. Jesus. Because with the best you have now, they are still upset. How much more the future that is coming around your life? And the Bible says they tried. But whilst they were doing a meeting, one of them said, no, when we kill our own brother, what will we get out of it? Which simply means, when meetings are taking place, because of the ground you are standing on, one of them will speak on your behalf. Amen. That's why when people come together to work again, don't worry, I say, God, I only need one person. And that one person is finding somebody right now. Amen. Now, 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 look, look at Joseph. His father's house is being blessed. And they think right now he'll go to Egypt. And when he gets to Egypt, that'll be the end of his life. Potiphar's wife shows up and says, I want to make you great, but if you don't sleep with me, I can never elevate you. But when the conversation was taking place, I was standing there close to Joseph and I heard what Joseph said. Jo jo Joseph said, Auntie, you look so very beautiful. You look so very nice, but I'll not sleep with you. He said, Why? He says, When I was in my father's house and I was getting my dreams, 
and God told me he was going to make me great. I never saw you in my dream. So because I didn't see you in my dream, you can never take me where I'm going. Jesus. Somebody hear me. When your ground is fertilized, yes, those who think they are the ones who can bless you, Jesus. God is about to make a switch and a turn around. To speak in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, the one who shout the loudest, you will be the first person to receive that word right now. It says, it says, it says, it says, it says, when I got my dream, auntie, you were not in my dream. So auntie, move off from my ground. We speak on my behalf. Jesus. When my, most of you, when I'm talking about the ground, say, Prophet Daniel, why are you connecting Joseph to the ground? Everything that was being said about the ground over there, let's go to the Deuteronomy chapter 16. Everything about Deuteronomy, about when the, the, um, the children were being blessed, when they got to Joseph, this was the blessings of Joseph. Look at it now. So the secret of Joseph was that his ground brought the best of the earth. Jesus. We've heard the story from Sunday school many times, but we didn't know that the secret of Joseph was okay. Okay, check it. Because the tournament chapter 33 is when Jacob was blessing all his children. But the moment it got to Joseph, he said, For you, I will only bless your ground. And out of all the 12, Joseph, I said, Out of all the 12, Joseph, Jesus. I said, Out of all the 12, out of all the 12, Joseph, the secret was one. He received the best gift of the ground. If you know how to work your ground, out of the 12, God picks you from number 11 and places you over the number yes, one. Lord. Receive it right now. I receive it. So yeah, yeah, is there. Joseph is there. He said, with the best gift of the heaven, the fullness and the favor of him who dwell in the burning bush. Let all this rest on the head of Joseph. So Joseph's secret was about, he was working in the best gift of the years. Today, you are more than Joseph. Yes, Lord. Today, you are better than Joseph. Yes, Lord. You move in life with total dominion. Jesus. You move in life with total authority. Yes, Lord. The days of running away from riches are over. Amen. The days of running away from wizards are over. Amen. Because I enjoy the best. And hear me, Jesus. and hear me, and hear me. If I'm supposed to enjoy the best gifts of the earth, hear me. When somebody wants to also affect you, they go after your ground. And today we are about to do a ground reaction. Today we came to do directions. We are about to do some ground reactions. I showed you from last week when Joachim was supposed to be cursed. They said to Joachim, let the ground, let's go to Joachim's story again. J J J J Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 29. Joachim is about to be cursed. They didn't curse him. They cursed his ground. And look at what happened to him. He says, oh land, oh land, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Record this man as if he is childless. A man who will not prosper in his days. And none of his offsprings will prosper. They never curse the man straight. They curse his ground. But do you know. Now, now something strange is, will happen over here. After many years. After many years. They have told you. You walk in, You will never have children. You will never have children in your life. But after many years. When Nebuchadnezzar came to capture them, the Bible mentioned Joachim's mother, his attendants, his nobles, but the Bible never mentioned his children, which means all his life, children never showed up because of what was said about his ground. Second Kings 24 verse 10. Then I'll just go give you my, my last three. Second Kings 24 verse 10. Look at it now. At that time, Nebuchadnezzar uh, came to advance. Let's go. Let's go. And yeah, he came with officials. Let's go. Now, Jehoiakim, king of Judah. Now, when they were capturing them, look at it. The Bible says they captured his, let's all read together. Let's go. Number one, they captured his mother. Number two, his attendants. Number three, nobles. Last one, his officials. Ask yourself, where were the children? Where were the children? No children. Because the F recorded him to be childless. I'm trying my best. Thank you. If somebody is moving in life with no results, check their ground. Jesus. They capture, and, and, and those times when the book at Nazar is about to attack your nation, the first group he attacks are your children. He takes all of them and places them in a prison and takes them into exile. But for Jehoiakim, never, never, they, they never touched a child because no child was around because the earth had recorded him childless. Jesus. Today, what has your earth? recorded about you but i don't care what it has been recorded about you 
if it has been recorded something negative against you yes, Lord. Uh, listen any ground that has opened the mouth that will be the place where they will bury you jesus i rather step there in the supernatural jesus and i block there by the message of god it will not work it will not survive amen say my ground is blessed my ground is blessed say my ground is favored my ground is favored by fire by fire let me give you the last two now we also have different types of ground and the other ground you can meet in life this one is a serious one it's called a leveled ground say a leveled ground a leveled ground when you see this staircase here it is not a leveled ground am i saying the truth yes, sir. when i stand here i can fall but when i get up here it is a leveled ground when your ground is leveled let, let me tell you what happened when your ground is leveled you automatically go through divine acceleration jesus okay 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 can you give me the video of the ferrari and see something right now when your ground is leveled Listen, okay, pause it now. Have you seen this Lamborghini and Ferrari? Yeah, let's go. It's going so fast because the ground is level. Talk to me. The ground is leveled. Let's see the same Ferrari in Ghana. The same Ferrari in Ghana road. Whether it will go fast or slow, let's go. But this one, I think it's pause. I think it's pause. Whether table or 911, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know whether it's Tebo or 911 or Buster. Either of them. Check. Wow. Ne young kunu But because the ground is not level. Jesus. Some of you, your destiny is nice like a Lamborghini, but your ground is like a Jesus. But any ground that can see Jesus. I prophesy by fire. Yes, Lord. I move you to the realm of level ground. Amen. Shout acceleration. Acceleration. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm teaching, sit down. I'm going to say, say, I want to see a swa. Won't change, change, change yet. A part just said, when you are born on the mountain, you don't struggle to become tall. Jesus. So your life can have um, a Lamborghini engine. Some of you, your engine is Lamborghini, but your ground is the one like Ghana. Isaiah 40, verse 4, says something there. Church, when you see a man going on a tall speed, don't jealous them. Check their ground. Look at it. It says, every valley shall be raised up. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The grove ground shall become. Jesus. If your ground is rough, you will take more effort. The answer is that check their ground. Today I came for your ground. Yes, Lord. Today I came for your ground. Yes, Lord. If anybody said that your ground was rough, rough, Jesus, or rugged, I make your ground very level. Amen. Son, my ground is level. My ground is level. Listen, when my ground is now leveled, anywhere I stand, I'm able to run very far because my ground is already leveled. Today by fire. I speak by authority. Jesus. Let the altar of the testimony city. Yes, Lord. Make, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I speak over the ground of your children. Yes, Lord. And then may they will mark ground at your level. Yes, Lord. Baby or Mawari, yes. Jesus. I push them into their marriage. Amen. Listen, listen, I push them into their academic excellence. Amen. Listen, when your ground is leveled, you don't fail in school. Jesus. I don't know who has ever failed. But I'm about to take you to a leveled ground. Amen. With my warrior. Yes, Lord. With my education. Yes, Lord. With my success. Yes, Lord. Let your ground be favored. Amen. Let your ground be favored. Amen. Let the altar. Yes, Lord. Let your ground be well. Amen. So my ground is level. My ground is level. Over now, over now, over now, over now, over now, over now, this altar, over now, that's why I'm here. Sit down for one minute. Sit down for one minute. Church, church, I want to ask you one question. What is the type of ground for your business? Jesus. Check the business ground that you have. Is it ragged? Is it rough? 
or is it leveled? But God said, Daniel, tell power of worship. Yes, Lord. They shouldn't worry. Jesus. Every valley. Yes, Lord. Send it Every valley. Jesus. Will be raised. Amen. And all the mountains. Jesus. I prophesy by fire. Yes, Lord. Somebody up. Uh, do you know I just heard? The Lord said, Daniel, tell my people. What I'm about to say, many people will jump and go. Can I tell you? Yes, sir. The Lord says, any bank account. Jesus. That is a valley bank account. Jesus. It's about to raise to a level. Amen. I said, it's about to raise a level. Amen. Somebody, you are about to know your level. Amen. Shout, I know my level. I know my level. Say, I know my level. I know my level. One minute, one, one, one point more. I didn't even preach half of my sermon. Sit down. Now, there's a kind of ground. And the kind of ground I want to talk to you about now, I know my level. You know your level, right? Mama me oil, mama me oil, mama me oil, mama me oil, mama me oil. Church, are you ready for the direction? Yes, sir. I ask everybody to take a seed of what? Never forget. Already as I pour this oil on this ground. Jesus. May the ground represent the spiritual ground of everybody here. Yes, Lord. If there's any rugged ground, Jesus, rough ground of anybody here, Jesus, I make it level by fire. Amen. I make it leveled by fire. Amen. I make it leveled by fire. Amen. The, la the, 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 the last gun I'll talk about. Oh, wow. I couldn't continue. Should I continue small? Yes. Okay, so let me choose. Sin, 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 that I call. Okay, let's check a ground. Psalm 73, verse 18. There's a kind of ground that I want us to really spend time on, just for one minute. It's called a slippery ground. Some people, they easily fall in life. Jesus. What's that business? I know I'm falling. Because the ground is slippery. Jesus. Let's go. Surely you place them on slippery ground. You cast them down to ruin. If you see any man coming down into ruin, it means their ground is slippery. Jesus. Somebody touch your ground now. And then my cast as an amy will fear her. Yes, Lord. Oh, be beer out. Oh, oh, one time. Oh, Charlie. Oh, one time, man. Hey, why are you tapping plenty? I said, I said, touch one time. Hey. When you are bread, and you're being a chess when you are bread. Instruction one. Church is an instruction one time. And I'm a declare by what you did. Jesus. And hear me. Do you know the reason why I made you to do this direction? This direction is not for me to do it. Now you know that as a child of God, you carry power. So as you just touch the ground now, if there's any slippery ground in front of you, Jesus, church, when there's a slippery ground, even physically in the spiritual realm, Obina, oh, they, they called me. A man was in America. He went to his bathroom. He stepped into the bath. He fell down. His head hit it down. Stroke, brain aneurysm. After three days, he died. What happened in the physical had already happened in the spiritual. And I pause here. Oh, be better in life. Oh, be when you when you soon see Charlie, your prince will be charged for my wuka. Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, yes, Lord. I reverse it by fire. Amen. I crush it right now. Yes, Lord. Nobody will ever collapse. Amen. Nobody will ever die before their time. Amen. By virtue of the oil in the house, Jesus. May God arise right now. Amen. Shout no way. No way. Sit down, my last one minute. When the ground is slippery, you end up falling down. But I came for one good news. There is a God. Yes, Lord. help me for something. Come. Behave as if you are falling down. Or falling down once anymore. Behave as if you are falling down. Uh -huh. Behave again. Because much all. When an individual gets a slippery ground, there is a God. There is a God. Jesus. There is a God. Jesus. Who hold you in Jesus' name? Yes, Lord. Anywhere you enter, may Jesus. God hold you.
some of you, the reason why people don't understand you is that with all the trouble they design against you, Jesus. anytime they see you, yes, Lord. God is elevating you. Amen. They don't know why. Yes, Lord. Because you nearly fell to the ground. But God Jesus. say, God help me. Sit down, sit down, sit down. 11813, let's go, Psalms. And I'm done. 11813, let's go. Psalms. And let's see it right now. 11813. Look at it. I was pushed back. About to fall. Jesus. Those already clapping has got a revelation. Uh, now let's all read together. Let's go. I was pushed back and about to fall. But the Lord helped me. Number two. I was pushed back and about to fall. But the Lord helped me. So it means in life, stand behind him. People don't just begin to fall. Something pushes them. Jesus. Anything pushing you. Jesus. Any wind pushing you. Jesus. I block that wind by fire. Amen. Listen. When nothing has pushed you, you are in the state of inertia. According to Newton's first law of motion, an, in, an object lies in its state of rest until an external force is applied. So not so the man can be in a state of inertia. When you see him falling, it means I push him. Newton's first law of motion. But let me let me go back to you and take you to the third law of motion. Jesus. Newton said to every action there is equal and opposite reaction. Jesus. Wait, so let me explain. So right now I've given the man an action, but according to Newton's third law, there's going to be equal and opposite reaction. So from today, when somebody also pushes you back, Jesus, you will also push them. Back. Amen. My God, Jesus. I by the power. I declare by fire. Yes, Lord. I declare by fire. Yes, Lord. When death pushes you, Jesus, you will crush them. Amen. When any family altar Jesus. pushes you, yes, Lord, we will push them back. Amen. To every action, yes, Lord. There is equal, Jesus. And opposite, Jesus. Reaction. Yes, Lord. Today I declare, yes, Lord. Let reaction, yes, Lord. From the altar, yes, Lord. Fight back now. Somebody shout fire! Fire! I'm down. Be on your feet. Lift up your hands. When, when you were young. Anytime you, you are going to school, your mother tell, told you something. Your mother told you, when anybody beats you, when anybody beats you, ah. it, it was Newton's third law of motion. But right now, Christians are so quiet. Obi bo Christian, yada yari ya bono, wasi nyami nema, nyami neje, enye fiha. What the area about me? Better tell you to stand Jesus. up. Let God give you power. Amen. Let God give you power. Amen. Shout power. Power. 